What's your buddy? My name is Awesome Punch and welcome back to another Chirello Tuesday, not on a Tuesday. Because if I kept bringing these out on Tuesdays, I feel like I would slip back on a lot of the things that could going to be happening in the game. So, I'm just going to make it. It's still going to be called Trello Tuesday, as I explained last video, which was about five days ago, which was not a Tuesday. That it's not going to be on a Tuesday, it's just called that because of alliteration. They're like, you know, KSI has his Q&A Sunday, which quite often isn't on a Sunday. Really interesting that you guys really need to have a look at. Um, and it's on the Trello board, and you, I'll show you how you can access it. But it's the Subnautica roadmap, so basically... This is how they've planned the game to go. They've planned it from all the way from January to launch day and after launch to see if there's anything else. So I'm going to give you a rundown of what, what it says about it. So they've just released the H2O update. I think it was a couple of days ago, two days ago maybe. And they added the water park, um, loot cubes, all that kind of stuff. Um, short range radio, didn't know anything about that. Sea Emperor Prison. You what? So in February, there will hopefully be a farming update, which I'm guessing will add farms. Uh, destroyed life pods, so maybe people did escape, but it destroyed the life pods, maybe? I, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, next we move on to March, and they haven't named the update yet. Um, 20 plus more modular wrecks, which is 20 of those wrecks that we can explore in different, all of them different, which is crazy. Uh, there's going to be limited O2 in bases, so all the plants generate O2 in your base. Something like this, each room or hallway piece you add, adds a minute of O2 to your whole base. Okay, so, and then you have to build O2 machines for your bases. Seamoth will have limited O2. Cyclops Incinerator, I'm not entirely sure what that will do. Sea Dreader, so that will be coming in March, hopefully. Abandoned bases, first used animations, Lost River, Bone Shark, Xbox One preview launch. So March, guys, about March. Um, inactive Lava Zone layout, that should be completed by then. And then Lost River Area 1 should be completed by March as well. Moving on to Creature Attack, update in April, hopefully. Uh, you get Creature eggs. Creatures will start attacking your base, which is terrifying. Species Analyzer. The Warper, which I'm terrified of, Transfuser, Crafting of Serums, um, Aurora with Exo Room, nice, uh, what have we got, Expanded Pipes to Bases, O2, so you have to build pipes, okay, this, this is going to get complicated, Crab Squid coming in April as well, um, Re-implement Thermal Plant and Nuclear Plant as in base modules, Fix Mesmer, Give Reef Back a Purpose, yes, please, Sea Dragon, Sea Emperor, Reeskin. Redo all icons. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> Exosuit update. May. Gun emplacement area. Refractor docking to allow Seamoth or Exo. Depth gating of Exosuit. Map scanner room. Fire extinguisher and fire visual effects. Uh, exosuit jump jets. Exosuit drilling arm. Wow. Final cavern. Active lava zone. <clears throat> oh, it's active now. Oh. Start PS4 port if Xbox One sales are good. Okay. So if Xbox, if it sells well on Xbox, then they're going to bring it to PS4. That is great for you guys. So you PS4 players, you have to rely on Xbox One doing well now. Okay? Sorry, but you you will. Um, Brock Puncher coming in May as well. Uh, Lost River Area 3 temperature gating system. Next is on to June, which is the story mode test branch. Um... So, this is all story mode te tease Australia's, uh, just basically hatching sea emperor eggs. Oh my god. Oh, that's strange. Ending launch sequence. Okay. Juvenile emperors. Oh my god, there's going to be baby sea emperors. Oh god, that's going to be terrifying. Then we go on to polish in July. Oh god, we're going to have to wait a while to be able to quit the main menu, aren't we? Jesus. <laughs> Uh, better Cyclops driving, address pop-in, redo crafting icons, land movement figure, figure uh, physics, um, <clears throat> fix floaters on boulders, or just cut them in general, see emperor behavior, fix creature teeter totter, getting stuck on random things, cut any craftables that aren't working. Okay, launch V1.0, August. They'll do a press tour around San Francisco. Um, 
not entirely sure what they'll do for that, just, I don't know, talk about the game in San Francisco, I'm guessing. Launch trailer, that will come out, and sim ship Steam slash Xbox One slash PS4. But with that uh, question mark, the very important question mark. Then you will notice this unknown bit, which I'm guessing is just like after launch additions. So there'll be a jetpack apparently, maybe, I'm not sure. Grappling hook from dive reel, so the dive reel at the moment, you're going to be able to have as a grappling hook, which <laughs> I don't know. Randomised creature variants, so maybe mutants, um, maybe one gasopod has a spot on its belly, one has a spot on its back, something like that. And then, of course, achievements. It's coming to Xbox One. If Xbox One does better, it's going to PS4. If it goes to PS4, then they can launch it with all three consoles optimised for it. That's great. That's such a good idea, because now they can actually focus on things. Uh, the background picture is pretty cool as well. <laughs> Cyclops. Oh my god, hang on. Oh my god, have I just... Oh my god. If you... Oh. Is there a way of uh, hiding this? Oh my god, I think what I can see here is that in the background there's a tube. And it's docking into the Cyclops. See? I actually think it is. Oh my god, is that coming as well? Oh my god. Yes, oh my god, it does actually... Whoa! So you'll be able to dock. Oh my god. We've been waiting for that for so long, you'll be able to dock your Cyclops. If it goes by that, anyway. That's so cool. Voice lines. Invisibility cheat. So annoying swimming around getting attacked by creatures. No damage turns off damage, but they still attack and push you around. The invisible cheat would basically make all creatures ignore the player entirely. That would be good. Oh, so that's in the game. Can you type in invisibility or something? That is so cool for you console players. But yeah, that was just a quick overview of what's actually happening in the game. This is how you actually get on it. If you go to the Subnautica Trello, which I have in the description, go to here and go on the, it says roadmap here. So go on the Subnautica roadmap and it should take you to here, where this picture is, where you can dock. Uh, but I'm gonna leave it here. So if you're liking a series of Trello Tuesday that never is on a Tuesday, then give it a like. If you're feeling really generous, subscribe to become a crunchy today. But until the next one, I will see you guys in the next one. Tara, my friends.